today is give you a small bit of knowledge that took me 40 years to acquire and it's just a small bit. I have learned how secrets, lies, deceptions can damage you. When things happen to you or you've done things to others so bad and so terrible that you can't even admit it to yourself. You end up lying to yourself or altering the situation in your mind just so that you can get up in the morning and look at yourself in the mirror. When those types of things happen, you're only fooling yourself. You're not fooling anyone else. So what happens with that yeah. is that in a day-to-day -day struggle, you punish yourself. Struggle is real. You don't realize you're punishing yourself. You think you got the sham going on, don't nobody know the whole nine yards but you will never ever get to where you need to be until you can fully admit what you've done wrong ask for forgiveness and then forgive yourself that's the only way healing starts and it's hard because you don't want to admit that you did that wrong you don't want to admit that you did the things you did whether you you, you neglected someone, whether you stole from someone, whether you hurt someone wrongfully, if you accused someone wrongfully, if you cheated on whatever it was you did that is holding you back to the point that you have altered and lied to this point that you believe your own lie just so you can get up in the morning and look yourself in the mirror and be okay, you're not getting away with it. I want you to stop and think about what's happening in your daily life. What's that you're going through? It's a reason for that. You actually, honestly, have to sit down and tell yourself the truth. Now that's some shit when you got to tell yourself the truth. Because you've lied about it for so long and lied to yourself for so long that you actually believed your own lie. Oh, man. Can you tell me a little bit, like this, like the struggle, like that situation you were telling me that occurred in, in, well, in the I'll, past? I'll give you another example. Uh -huh. I'll give you another example. I won't name any names, but just know I've had personal experience. There was a girl that before she was even born was damaged. Her mother was five months pregnant with her and engaged to be married to her best friend. She had two children before this third child that she had. She trusted them. They were both victims of abuse. abuse. And they comforted each other in their childhood. Child abuse, you mean, right? A variety of abuses. Yeah, a variety. This woman goes to the store one day and leaves her two children in the company of her fiance. And she comes home and she finds out that he has raped her firstborn. Oh, man. Child molester. But here's the thing about child molesters. Yeah. Back in those days. Pedophile. They didn't talk about it. Yeah. Most people didn't realize that those that get abused often become the abuser. Everything is hush, hush. Mm. A 20 year secret. She uh -huh. did what she had to do. Sent him to jail. Yeah did other things, even told everybody else yeah. that that was not the father of the child. Oh, man. Had someone that loved her and pitied her so much that they claimed to be the father of that child yeah. to spare her. But everybody knew. It was rumored that during that time in 
pregnancy at five months, she could not get rid of the baby. Yeah. Legally. It was rumored that there were several attempts to be rid of the child. Yeah. And a prophet came and was told that there's a reason that that child is going to be here. Yeah. That child came into the world, but the mother had difficulty bonding with the child, loving the child, did have love for the child, but had difficulty showing it. Years later, yes, this woman had another child, and she married the father of this particular child, who was actually a wonderful person. Yeah. How how's now look like? How do you feel about that situation? Like, how does it affect your your personal life now? Never, holding that secret for that I for tell that you, long. That, that girl never understood why she was treated different. She never understood why everyone else was kept and the other was tossed away. It didn't make any sense. I, I, it wasn't because they were the baby. It wasn't because they were the eldest. And everybody else's father came around but not hers. So it's like anybody else going through this certain situation or exper experience people. this right now, what, what type of advice can you give them? This is what I can say. Because this is a 20 year secret. Didn't find out. That girl didn't find out that she was grown. 20 year secret. All that damage, all that pain, all those wrong decisions, all that blame, all the secrets that she didn't even know she was hiding. She did damage to herself. And the mother of this child, all those secrets, all that pain, did even more damage to herself. Mm. And that yeah. firstborn that was damaged at the age of nine started in pain, held that secret, and died in pain. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that, Michael. Condolences. But secrets and lies, it shows through your actions. Even when you don't know it, it hurts you so bad that it makes you hurt yourself. Mm. Life is too short for that. I hope that I have not offended anyone with this. You shouldn't be. If you are, shame on you. I got a story to tell, and I'm going to tell it. You got any last words to tell anybody? Uh, that was there it. is absolutely nothing that can stop me. There is nothing that can stop me. I am the happiest now than I have ever been.